So, Micah, you've shown us how to lay plasticulture the manual way. You've got a machine here that is pretty nifty in small spaces. Can you tell me about this tractor? Well, this is a uh, BCS tractor that made in Italy, uh, and it's a walk-behind, and they, they're the, the largest company in the world that make walk-behind farm equipment. Uh, and it's, it, just, it does every, pretty much everything that a big tractor will do, except it, you know, it, you can't get a front end loader for it, but <laughs> it actually uh, plows, this is actually a plow that can plow sod, and then you have the rototiller. And, and this plow is actually what we used just um, to make, earlier to make a raised bed. Yeah, and it's really nice for making raised beds uh, or just for initial, initial plowing the soil up. Okay, so you, you kind of made a windrow going one side and then you made a windrow the other side and that's what made your raised bed. Right. Um, and so what makes this, obviously it's very small and compact, but how is it to maneuver in the garden? Well, it, it's just really a, a great space saver. And if you could, you could see how you now this garden is, is a fairly, you know, it's a decent sized garden. It'd be probably a big for a backyard garden but it's a small for a field. Mm -hmm. And if I had my big tractor in here, we would lose almost half the space because you couldn't go to the end. But with this, you can go all the way to the end and it, uh, it, you can get right up close. It'd be great for somebody growing inside of a hoop house because you can get right up to the wall. You can utilize all the space in it. And uh, what's neat about it is that it, uh, it, you can turn the handlebars all the way around and uh, it actually snaps into a little slot. You bring the, these bars here back around <clears throat> and uh, you can go either way with it. So now you're ready to go back down the road. Yeah, and it's geared three forward, three backwards. So either way you got the handlebars, it goes the same speed either way. You just have to be careful to know which way you're going because when you one way you're going you pull this back and it'll, it backs up and the other way it goes forward okay. but when you got the handlebars up opposite direction it's the opposite okay so this is one uh component you have to add on and we've got a couple of other first before you add that we actually rototilled so you can add a rotor tiller to the yeah front the, or back of that <laughs> and it has the pto and it's a quick hookup you just flip this little tab here and, and then you drive away from it and then you, you back up or push, come into this one and hook it up and then just flip it and it just hooks up to it. Excellent. And then finally we have the actual plasticulture laying machine. And it hooks up the same way. It's not hooked to a PO, PTO, but it hooks to the same place. It's got the hole there. And then you just roll the plastic out underneath the wheels and the displays throw the dirt up against it. It doesn't make a raised bed. Uh, so what I've done in the past is I've used a rake to rake it up a little bit and then lay it over. It makes a little nicer bed that way. So a fun little machine for a small farm. Hey. Um, thank you, Micah, for joining us today. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.